Hello everyone, welcome back to Imi's Corner. I appreciate everyone watching my videos and I'd like to say thank you so much for your constant support. In this episode, we'll be looking at some signs in your life that shows you're dangerously anointed. Some of us miss out on secrets that would have been communicated with us because we don't understand the voice of God and we don't understand that we're anointed. Are you feeling called to a specific purpose? Do you have a sense that God is leading you to a particular direction? If so, you may be wondering if you're anointed or walking in the anointing. Please, watch this video to see these signs and make sure you subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell for more life-changing videos. Hello, Uncle. Good day, sir. Sophia. When did you come around? Your dad didn't even tell me that you're back. I came in this morning and will be leaving soon. So soon? Yes, because of work. Who is this young man with you? I don't think I've seen this face before. This is Joseph. He's my fiancé. You're getting married? Good day, sir. My name is Joseph and I'm a doctor. That's a good profession. You're welcome here, Joseph. You carry a stronger power. Because, tell me why I could feel fire after I shook you. I know. Sophia, don't tell me that you went to bring a firebrand to our family. You cannot marry him. He carries power, he will come and destroy the altar our forefathers labored to build. I can see it. Please, you can't marry him, he is divine backing. But I like him. Since I met him, my life has transformed totally. I am now a new creature in Christ. I study my Bible and meditate on the Word of God. I fast and pray regularly and I don't miss any church services. I've drawn closer to God through his influence. I don't support this at all. I'll see your parents when I close for the day. What's his problem? This is why I didn't want to introduce you to him but my dad said I must. Don't think so much about it. His problem is that he is aware that I'll be a problem to him spiritually. I can already see the kind of person he is. That's right. He likes to sacrifice things to the gods. He's scared that you'll try to change our beliefs and you might influence my dad. The first sign that you're dangerously anointed is that you're a carrier of God's presence. You just know that God is with you, you can feel it and the people around you can also feel it. You'll hear someone saying don't try that woman or man, she carries the presence of God, he carries fire. They can see it because when the glory of God comes on you, it radiates and shines. The presence of God is everywhere and at all times, he's omnipresent. Anointing is a sign of God's presence in your life. He manifests His presence because He is with us in a clear and convincing way. You may experience the presence of God through a song or when you are studying the scriptures, it may be through a providential encounter with a friend or stranger. The presence of God may prompt you to pray when there is danger ahead. You'll have this strong sense of calling and purpose. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. When you're anointed, people will be drawn to you because you exude peace, love, joy and others feel it when they're around you. You'll not live in fear, because God's presence is with you and you'll receive divine guidance regularly. When we live lives marked by the presence of God, we become activated to impact others. There's problem. Have you met the person Sophia wants to marry? No, but I could see him from my mirror the day he came to our town. You should have striked him dead immediately. When he shook hands with me, I had this burning sensation in my hands. He is a spiritual person, I could feel it. We don't need that kind of person in our family. I saw it too. I could see someone in white following him. We need to stop Sophia now. She told me that no one can stop her from marrying him. Can you believe it? Sophia now attends church services, she prays. Abomination. Big abomination. We're going to strike him dead when next he comes here. He shouldn't die here. So that his people will not blame us. 
Let's do something that will take time and kill him slowly. I know what to do. I will give you poison on that day. Make sure he steps on it. You'll pretend like you want to tell him something, take him outside to where the poison is, and make sure he steps on it. In one week, his leg will start swelling and no matter where they rush him to, he'll not survive it. I give him one month to die. Good one. We will finish him before his wedding day. He is about to die before his celebration. This is perfect. I closed my eyes for five minutes and the Lord opened it to show me something. There's a plot against me in Sophia's village. It will never come to pass. Those wicked elders and wicked people gathering to plot evil against me shall flee in seven ways in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you for this revelation, for you disappointed the devices of the devil, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Every evil plans against my life, I cancel it. According to the word of God in Isaiah 7 verse 7, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. I command every devices of the crafty against my life to be destroyed. Their hands cannot perform their enterprise, Job 5:12. Whosoever that digs a pit for me, I command them to fall inside. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came unto me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear, though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Psalm 27 Thank you Father for answered prayers, to be all glory, honor and adoration in Jesus' name, Amen. 2. You have a passionate love and hunger for the Word of God. You spend time praying, studying the scriptures and allow them transform your life. Isaiah 61 verse 1 says the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, and hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. The third sign is that the power of the Holy Spirit is alive and active in the person's life. When you're dangerously anointed, you'll be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost and you'll begin to speak in new tongues as the Spirit will give you utterance. Acts 2, 4 The realm of the Spirit is very powerful. When you get born again, the Holy Spirit comes to live in you. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you begin to pray in tongues. Suddenly, you begin to pray in tongues and while praying, you feel a cool sensation that you cannot explain, you cannot account for. Your body is burning and then you'll sense that you're not alone in that place of prayer and when you pray, there's manifestation of the power of God. Acts 2 verse 2 to 3 says, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. When the fire comes, you'll feel that burning sensation. And sometimes while praying, you begin to hear all kinds of sounds, sometimes you hear voices, choir singing, flashes of lightning in different colors, and you don't realize what you are attempting to see is an angelic manifestation. It is important that we train ourselves to understand these things, because these are weapons of victory in the spirit. Can I see you outside for a minute? But the bride is already out. Please, can we talk later? We'll soon be back. All right. This place is just fine. Can you tell me? The walls are here. Let's just step out for a minute. We need to go in. Sophia must be looking for me. He's planning evil. He's about to make you to step on poison. You must pray. I carry power. I carry fire. What are you saying? Wise is Marka de Ares. Come down here, let me tell you. Go on. What is it? I had forgotten what I was about telling you. This is your fault. He has stepped on the spot but the poison didn't penetrate into his body. Why? Why?
It must have entered his body by now. Better celebrate well today because in few weeks time, you will be gone from our lives for good. Part 1 is done and dusted. We await part 2. That's right. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I did my job well. That Joseph of a boy stood exactly on the spot that the poison was buried. That man is powerful. The poison didn't penetrate. You must go and bring it, so that another person won't step on it. Really? How? That can't be possible. I said go and remove the poison from where you buried it. Yes. Voice of the Gods. Sign 4, with the anointing on you, you'll see visions, dream prophetic dreams and perform miracles. And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Joel 2.28 When you're anointed, signs and wonders will follow you. You'll see vision. God will reveal hidden secrets to you either through visions or dreams. Isaiah 10 verse 27 says, That his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Anointing breaks every yoke. If you're anointed, you'll find yourself suddenly going blank for a few minutes while praying. You see something within that split seconds, and God reveals to you the danger that's about to happen. You can be in a bus or train, and you just see it very sharp and clear. Then, you get directions on what to pray about. Signs and wonders will follow you. In Mark 16 verse 17 to 18, the Word of God says, And these signs shall follow them that believe, in my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In this video, you can see how Joseph stepped on poison and he was not harmed, that's because he's a carrier of God's presence. As an anointed person, you'll lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Another sign that you're dangerously anointed, is when you're walking in divine favor. You'll be able to live a life that is empowered by the favor of God and you'll do great things and accomplish amazing things for the kingdom of God. If you see all these signs, please know that you're an anointed person, try to obey your calling and don't miss the perceptions of the Spirit. Please, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, share this video, turn on the notification bell and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.